Hello, it's Coy, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. We're working on our Feliz Navidad, our Christmas in July uh, journal, a little bit more today. And my plan is to, to add a few pockets or belly bands, things that are, you know, things that are vertical, <laughs> not vertical, horizontal. I'm looking to, so I printed, I went ahead and printed out a few things that I thought might work for pockets or for, you know, for belly bands. And most of these images are either graphics fairy or um, from the public domain. And I don't think any of them are from digital kits that I would have to mention. Um, So I don't know what you're working on. You may want to, you know, to check when you start doing your pockets or belly bands. Belly bands are fun uh, to have in our journals and, you know, just require something that's, you know, that's got, you know, something that's either horizontal. You can also make, you know, you can also make a vertical uh, belly band, but that's not what I'm doing today. I'm making the horizontal ones, the ones that go from left to right, not top to bottom. And you might want to check your stash, check old Christmas cards, check any Mexican, you know, if you're doing a Latin uh, journal, check for, you know, colorful Latin papers or, you know, things. Most of the ribbon that I've pulled out, I have more Christmas ribbon, but most of what I've already pulled out, I've already used in my journal as a pocket. So I might not be could, but I might not be adding those. This is the only one that's, that's just copper colors. The only one that I have pulled out that I haven't used yet. So maybe I'll make a belly band, uh, a belly band from, from this, or it could be a side tuck, but probably a belly band. Okay. So I could have had all this cut out, I guess, before, um, before I turned on the camera. I didn't. <laughs> so rather than make you watch the whole thing, I could put this on pause, put the video on pause and come back once I have all of this cut out. If, if this was, you know, months down the line and I was more familiar than I am right now with, with editing the, my videos, I could just hit the fast forward through this kind of stuff and uh, not put you through the painstaking task of watching me cut paper. So let's go ahead and, and, and put it on pause. I will turn it back on in just a few minutes after everything's cut out and we'll get started. That might give you some time to go check your own stash. Um, let's check through your papers, and if you don't already, you know, have a good supply of belly bands and pockets in your journal, maybe you can, um, you know, get a little inspiration here and uh, figure out how to add some of your own today. Okay, I will be back. And I'm back with my little images. They're, they're rough cut. We'll you will distress the edges and trim the corners and such uh, as we go. And this is what I ended up with. Uh, this is a little bit more on the the Christmassy side. We've been working on the Mexican the Mexican aspect. This is a little more uh, of Christmas um, that I want to add without getting too carried away. Um, this gives us a few choices that might make a cute belly band. Maybe a belly band belly band. This could be a pocket, maybe. Pocket. Belly band or pocket, 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 pocket. I don't know. Something. It's cute. It could just trim trim the top or the bottom of the page, I guess. Anyway, let's pull our, let's pull our signatures out and see if any of this might fit in nice somewhere. 
I have, let me do a really quick flip through. I have added, you know, we've added quite a few things. We've got pocket. This is a floating pocket. Um, and then we have the cigar uh, box top pockets, the ribbon pockets. This I did um, off camera. This was a freebie from the Casa Azul group. And I made a cute uh, little tip in pocket. I tipped it in and, um, you know, then we can fill it with, with you know, Christmas uh, goodies. And Christmas comes along. This is the freebie from, from Artie Mays. And I, you know, just made these little, these little pockets and little tags. She included, um, this is what it looked like. She included little, you know, some little stamps and little circles and, and such in, in her kit. And again, this was the freebie. So if you haven't checked out what's going on, you know, at Artie Mae, she is also doing more traditional uh, Christmas in July over on her channel. And I just felt like I wanted to add something from her channel over here, from her freebies over here in my book. And I like that we did the glitter. There's another ribbon pocket. This is our um, recipe card we made for spicy guacamole with our lace pocket with the avocado patch on it. One of my favorites. I like it. I like it a lot. Another pocket. So we have a few pockets in here already. And I think this first signature has a little, we've worked in it a little bit more than we um, have worked in the others. But we do have some pockets here also. That was a pocket. We have the um, Mexican lot, uh, Lotteria pockets. Another one of the cigar box tops. We have this. This was that um, that salad, <laughs> the radish salad uh, pocket we made. This pull out of the colorful girls pocket pocket. Another ribbon pocket. Okay, we've done. We do have some pockets. This is a little tuck spot pocket, a little tuck. And all of the signatures have the box top. All the signatures have the ribbon, you know, a ribbon pocket. It's pretty too. And then there's this one with this uh, gorgeous trim. I may use that somewhere in the journal also for a belly band. Now that we're looking at that, I like that. And this is not a pocket. This is oh yeah, this is a pocket. This is a big, a, a large pocket. This is one of the um, one of Abet's uh, from one of her newer kits. Um, I bet it to Casa de Papel. I can't get enough of her images. Okay, her images are what has inspired me to do the Mexican journals to begin with. And, you know, this is hers also. A lot of, of my inspiration is coming from, um, from her and the papers that she creates. So if you haven't already gone over there, I would suggest you do it and look through them all. She's got a lot of gorgeous kits. And this is a Roxy's creation, um, uh, doily. Christmas doily. I just made a pocket, side pocket out of that. And let's see what we can add. Let's see if we can add a few more pockets. I think this bird would make a cute pocket. Let's see if we can find a spot for him. That might be okay. All right, let's put, a, put that bird right here. And 
That's Rachel the corners. Give a little distress to the edges. We'll put a backing on it to make it nice and strong. We create so many scraps when we're um, crafting like this. I don't mind sometimes just, just using them up. I was looking for that earlier. I'll put you right there so I know where you're at. left and the, the side and the bottom lined up at the same time okay and chuck no, chuck chuck likes to smooth things over okay it's cute maybe um sometime between now and the end of the month we will um, do a little bit more glittering because this one could probably use a little sparkle a little bling bling um, and we may end up putting, you know, a little, a little label or a little, you know, a little sentiment or something on them. But for now, just the pocket is fine. I just want to make some pockets and a few belly bands. I think most of the you know, I, I I do intend, you know, we have a lot of months left. <laughs> uh, so I do intend to, you know, to make some journaling cards and some tags. But I think most of, you know, most of what gets stuffed in the pockets, the belly bands and the, the tucks and such will be, um, you know, memorabilia from our actual months of December, things that you know, that we run across in real life that we pick up when we're wrapping gifts or out shopping or at a Christmas party. Now that I live in Louisiana, I don't expect, you know, the holiday seasons are the holiday season is not as crazy busy as it, you know, as it was when I was in South Florida, surrounded by a lifetime of family and friends, work associates. Ah, oh, it goes by so fast, doesn't it? December flies by. Once Thanksgiving, once actually, once uh, Halloween hits, you hit Halloween and then it's almost Thanksgiving. By the time Thanksgiving gets here, you have Black Friday. I'm not much of a Black Friday kind of girl, um, but you have Black Friday. Black Friday is a big thing at, at um, my son's shop. You know, they run a lot of Black Friday sales for tattooing. They, you know, uh, and then the whole Christmas season is very hectic with selling gift items. My son's very crafty. My daughter, Brad, my son's partner, Brad, very crafty and very artistic. And we, uh, 
like to keep things going. Okay, I think that it's a delightful little pocket. All right, so that's one. And then do we have... Let's make some little gussets and get this installed. Where's all those gussets we had made the other day that were too short for whatever we were use, wanted to use them on. Do you put gussets on your pockets? It just is a habit for me. I don't know if they're really necessary and sometimes they might give too much room for things uh, in the pocket, you know, and might make things easier to <laughs> to fall out. I don't know, but it's just a habit. I tend to want to put them on the sides. I don't usually put one on the bottom, but I usually put them on the sides of my pockets. It was so much fun having the grandkids here the other day. It was only 20, we accounted it was 28 hours. They were here 28 hours. And uh, probably six of those hours we were sleeping. Uh, other than that, we were going full throttle the whole time. It was fun. They're fun. My granddaughters took the granddaughters to see a movie while my son and my daughter were getting my birthday party ready. <laughs> uh, I know I said I'm, I would try and add some photos of what the little tiki bar looks like and what the, you know, what the birthday party was kind of like. Maybe I can remember to do that on this video. If I'm going to, we better make sure we're not taking too long here. We live in a very small town and there's not that much to do here. So the Tiki Bar area the courtyard at the shop, it's the courtyard at the shop. It is where we hang out. We have all of our family gatherings, most of our family gatherings there. And um, my son's got it, you know, it's always nice and decorated and a, a fun place. We have paint parties out there and, you know, a lot of different things when it comes to family gatherings. And now that the Tiki bar is there. It is the coolest spot in town. It is the coolest spot in town. Okay, one down. And now what? Pocket. This is a nice pocket. Let's see if we can find a spot for it. Another pocket in this signature. Okay, well this kind of adds a little Christmas to our to our scenario here because most of what we've put in so far was Mexicaning it up, a Latining it up. Oh, how about there? Well, it could be there or here. How about here? Okay. Let me clean up this edge a little bit. Make sure. 
sure it's not too wide for the page. A little trim a little bit more. Just a sliver. Maybe a sliver from each side. Okay, I'm good with that. Don't dry out on me, Art Glitter Glue. Don't dry out. Give a light little distress here. I was going to print Feliz Navidad right there and ended up not doing it. it <clears throat> the letters got so small because of the amount of space. It was almost enough space to, to put something, but not quite. Not without compromising the image. All right, let's take this out and put this guy in right here. Um, yeah, I really should back it at least a strip across the top to where things are going to be taken in and out of the pocket. Hmm. I'm sure we have to have something that fits there. fine. Okay, what kind of projects are you working on? Anybody have a Christmas journal going? Or a July, junk journal July going? I know that's what a lot of people are working on. They do, Meg Journals does a junk journal January, junk journal July. And then has artists from across the community, um, you know, highlighting different ways they do what they do. All right, that's going to add a little strength to the top here. And we'll make a couple little gussets. Yeah. 
and it is a little on the quiet side. When he does it. All right, well, there's not much um, new in my neck of the woods to really um, talk about where uh, the Casa Azul group, we, you know, I, I did a recent video on the little swap that we did, and that was fun getting um, my swap signatures in. And now we're doing a Junk Journal July swap of tags. And it's not too late to get involved with the swap if you want to uh, go on over again it's you know look up on Facebook it's um, Casa Azul and if you want to take part in the swap just go ahead and sign up and follow the rules you know the rules are, are very limited they're not big rules or you know but it, it'll give you direction on you know what we're offering it's three we're we're doing everybody's making three tags Per person that you're swapping with so if you, you and you, if you have you know three you so three sets of three you're making three sets of three and then one for Anna to um, use to demonstrate and we're wrapping the little the little packages to look like a, a Christmas gift and um, it should be fun give us a little something to put in our Christmas journal Okay, and that's pocket number two. Oh, let's do a belly band and then we'll probably move on. So that's two pockets and let's find a place for a belly band. Which one would make a cute belly band? I could use that or this. I think this one's nice enough wide would make a, a cute belly band and it's the right size to go all the way across the page where would we put it though where would we put it not on a yellow page I don't think so it might be okay here on this grungy yellow page I think so Okay, that was easy. And do we bag it? I think so. I don't like things to get too bulky, too heavy in the book, but I think that having, you know, things backed so that they're nice and, you know, sturdy enough is uh, a good thing. Okay, this was a misprint on my printer that I wasn't crazy about. So I keep all of those pages and use them, you know, for for backers when I need them. I know you guys are probably saying, Rachel, your corners. Rachel, your corners before you glue. I heard you. But not until after I started gluing.
that and a little bit of distress. My mom is funny. She she told me that she's been watching my videos. And uh, when I ask a question, like, do we want, you know, to put it at the top? Do you want to put it at the bottom? Do you want to, you know, which one do you want to choose? She says she always, almost always gets it right. She says she'll guess and she'll say it. And I almost always do what she says to do. She says, but when, <laughs> every now and then, I don't do what she says. She says, and she will say, no, put it at the top, put it at the top. <laughs> Gotta love our mamas, don't we? I love my mama. All right, so we're gonna back this one here. Make it a little sturdier so we can slip our tags in and out without worrying about anything. My son, as part of my birthday gift, I don't know if I already mentioned, I might have mentioned this yesterday. He gave me five, uh, five books on how to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> I think he just would like for me to stop calling, asking him questions that he doesn't have the answer to. He's really smart. My son is very, um, very bright. He knows a lot of things, but you know, like he said, he doesn't know it all. And you know what? My mom does the same thing. My mom thinks that I am so brilliant. My mom thinks that I know all of it. I know everything about computers. She's wrong. I do not. Far from do I know everything. But when it's something that you want or need to find the answer to, you will... Do your due diligence and get in there and look it up, figure it out. That's what I do. I work on it, look it up, Google it until I get it figured out. And then chances are fairly good that next time I need to do it, I'm going to forget. Like if I don't, if it's not something that you just take off with and start doing on a regular basis, I will forget by the next time I need to do it. So, I don't call that very smart. I call that, you know, necessity is the, the mother of. This side. All right, I like this. I like this very much. That's cute. All right, that's our belly band, and we can slip some tags and, and other Christmassy things in and out of there come Christmas time. Okay, I think that might do it for us here today. Um, we do have a few others that we can work with. Uh, maybe I'll just put it down there in the um, basket of... Um, the basket of possibilities. This definitely, I definitely want to make a belly band out of that. That's cute. And look at those little birds. I don't know where the yellow one came from. She looks like a little misfit, but how cute are they? A pocket. A pocket. All right. We'll save these for a different day, and I'm going to try to, since we since we may have a little bit of time left on this video, I may try to put something together to show you a couple of pictures of um, the courtyard at the shop and the new tiki bar. 
Thank you, everybody, for joining me here today. I appreciate it. It's so much fun crafting when you're not crafting alone. And if you're still here at the end of this video, if you would please take just a moment to leave a comment. Tell me where you're, you know, where you're watching from. Tell me what you're working on, what's going on on your desk. Just say hi is enough, what your name is. Any of that, I, you know, I would like to know, you know, I would like to know who you are and, um, you know, uh, invite you to, you know, to participate in, you know, the things that are going on here at the Eclectic Cottage and start building, you know, a community uh, that's reciprocal where we can, you know, learn and exchange ideas uh, from each other. Again, thank you for being here. I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you real soon. Thank you.